Tonight in Baldwin County, the principal of Fairhope High School sending out a letter of apology after he received complaints that inappropriate music was played by the student section Friday night's game. Principal John Cardwell said in a statement that a song played by students in the stands using their own speaker system contained profanity and derogatory language toward women. That letter was emailed to the Fairhope parent community as well as Baldwin County School Board leaders. Our Baldwin County reporter, Hal Sherrick, got reaction from the school board as well as some of you. Friday's game was a huge rivalry game between Fairhope and Daphne. And the stands were packed. Fairhope High School principal John Cardwell says he's allowed the student section to play music at previous home games, and they've done a good job up until Friday night. Cardwell spells out in the letter what happened, saying that at each home game, he's allowed the student section to play music in the stands through their own sound system. At the game Friday, a song was played that he says contained explicit lyrics offending some who heard it. He did not name the song that was played, only saying, This morning I am disgusted that at a Fairhope High School event, a song referring to females as the B word and repeated use of the MF word and even racial slurs was played. He went on to say, I am disgusted and ashamed this happened. Please accept my apology. Baldwin County School Board President Cecil Christenberry represents the Fairhope District and was at the game. He didn't hear the music that's being questioned, but says he thinks Cardwell is handling it properly and hopes nothing like this happens again. That's a family atmosphere and that's, that's very valuable, very important. Uh, to our board and to our entire system and certainly to John Cardwell. Mm -hmm. And so it needs to be protected and it's unfortunate, I think, that someone made a decision, a student or two made a decision to play something that was inappropriate. Christenberry received the letter and says he expects Cardwell to handle the matter internally and while the school board will likely discuss the incident, he doesn't expect any action to be taken at the board level. Fairhope parents I spoke with agree and feel like a lesson will be learned from this. I think Mr. Cardwell will take care of it. He's, uh, he's done a really good job so far. Um, I don't think it needs to escalate any further. I think if he said he'll take care of it, I believe he will. I think it's definitely an error of judgment on the children. And, uh, you know, faculty should have supervised that effort to kind of just approve the playlist and make sure that something like this didn't happen. And just to be clear, the song in question was not played over the public address system here at the stadium, but on a separate sound system used by the student section. Now, I was at the game Friday night. I did not hear the song being questioned either. And what is going to be done about this at the school level is yet to be known. Reporting live in Fairhope, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.